by Kamala Harris. What's it like to be lied to by these buffoons on MSNBC? Fox News host Jesse Waters purchased a posh $2.8 million mansion in New Jersey earlier this year to call home with his family. This current property stands over 10,000 square feet of space and is a significant upgrade from the quaint 1,800 square foot condo he and his wife Emma were renting in New York City before. Jesse's latest family home is epic to say the least. Sitting on 5.6 private acres on Bernardsville Mountain with two-story wraparound porches giving the home a southern feel and there's even a beautiful pool with fountains. Jesse has been pretty busy with real estate these days considering at the end of 2022 he also listed his recently updated vacation home in Jersey Shore for just under two million dollars. Fox News host Jesse Waters purchased himself and his family a stunning mansion in Bernardsville, New Jersey in early 2023. While there's not too much information about where he was living before, we do know that this mega home is a massive upgrade from the Manhattan rental he was staying in. That cozy condo only boasted 1,853 square feet, while this crib measures in at a whopping 10,296 square feet of space. So Jesse and his wife Emma now have more than enough space for themselves and their two young children. The New Jersey estate was built in 2002 and boasts five bedrooms as well as five full baths and four half baths throughout. Listing materials claim the home was inspired by Greek revival architecture, which we can see from its large columns and grand scale and symmetry. While the two level wraparound verandas give the mansion the feel of an elegant southern style estate as well. The 5.6 acre property is set on Bernardsville Mountain and offers plenty of privacy for Waters and his family as well as picture perfect flat green lawns all around. Not to mention, aside from the main mansion, there's another spacious living structure right next door in the form of a carriage house. Looks larger than the average family home on its own and makes for the ideal guest or staff house. Inside Jesse's main family mansion, most of the common rooms have a Victorian feel, while all of them are well proportioned with soaring 12 foot ceilings and ornate millwork. Not to mention, there are eight fireplaces throughout the home, which adds to the comfort and elegance. A grand two level entryway greets you upon walking in, while there are marble floors underfoot as well as an eye-catching curved staircase. While Jesse paid $2.8 million for the home, it's well worth it with its size. The home has a square floor plan, which is organized around the central stair hall, while the two level covered porches line all four sides of the residence. The stair hall has access to all spaces of the first and second floor, while most rooms easily move from inside to outdoors too. The estate's formal dining room boasts a muted light blue color on its board and batten walls, along with some stunning French doors that open up to the terrace, a large marble fireplace, and room for at least 10 guests. Elsewhere, there's a two level wood paneled library with built in bookshelves and spiral staircase, and a massive kitchen with two large islands dark wood, custom cabinets, and French doors for natural light. There are also stainless steel appliances and marble floors underfoot. One of the formal living rooms is painted a regal shade of red with classic and elegant furnishings, and it seems the master suite upstairs is painted a similar shade of red. The large primary bedroom is a sitting area, luxurious bathroom with a soaking tub and stall shower, terrace access, and a large walk-in closet. Other highlights include a lower level home movie theater, wine cellar, garage, and and the sprawling carriage house with guest accommodations. Along with the rolling flat green lawns and manicured greenery, Jesse and his family can also enjoy the rectangular swimming pool with fountain features. Aside from Jesse's latest New Jersey mansion, the political guru has been busy with his other real estate lately too. In January 2023, the Jesse Waters primetime star relisted the 2,044 square foot abode after chopping a bit off the asking price in the hopes of finding a buyer. Located on the Jersey Shore, he and his second wife Emma purchased this home in April 2021 for $1.1 million and first list the place last October. More specifically, the couple's property is situated in Beach Haven, one of the towns that collectively make up Long Beach Island. More recently, the list price of the place was at $1.85 million after Waters reduced the price by $50,000. Located about a block
block and a half from the Atlantic Ocean, the home boasts four bedrooms and two and a half bathrooms and was completely renovated just last year. A native of Philly, Jesse's probably no stranger to summer spent here. The home is also just a few blocks from the famous Chicken or the Egg Diner and the Fifth Street Pavilion Beach, which is actually where he proposed to his now second wife in 2019, who he now shares two children with. The listing highlights the property's custom cabinets, brand new appliances, including a wine fridge, as well as fresh granite countertops and a kitchen island that were installed during the home's recent makeover. A fully renovated bathroom sits beside two large bedrooms while the plush master suite occupies the entire top floor, offering a walk-in closet, a private deck, and a fully renovated ensuite. The garage here can fit two vehicles, but it seems like the family has been using this space as a games room instead. The private backyard also has lots of entertaining space, as well as an outdoor shower, which is a Jersey Shore Beach home must have for all the days spent on the sand. Property taxes are reported to be somewhere over $10,300 a year for this place. According to Redfin, the median sale price of homes in Beach Haven in recent times was $2.2 million, up 122% year over year. After looking at the homes of Fox News host Jesse Waters for today, that'll wrap up this house tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. What would you enjoy most about having a vacation spot at the Jersey Shore? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer, and if you like this video, then be sure to stay tuned for our look into the homes of Tucker Carlson. Bye. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Is there any mainstream American political commentator quite as controversial as Tucker Carlson? This former CNN and MSNBC newscaster made a giant splash in the industry when he signed on with Fox News back in 2009. Since then, he's only become even more notorious after taking the reins of that network's flagship time slot with his popular series Tucker Carlson Tonight in 2016. Shortly after entrenching himself as one of the right wing's most popular, in 2011 Tucker and his wife Susan would trade down from the $4 million home they were living in at the time in the Washington DC district of Kent for a property worth half as much located less than a mile away in the same neighborhood. The couple's original home was a six bedroom, eight bath colonial that boasted a heated pool, six fire places and its very own in-law suite. Carlson's traded that in for a multi-level colonial style brick house that was originally built in 1941, boasting seven bedrooms as well as five and a half bathrooms with a price tag of $2 million. Situated along the Potomac River in the Palisade section of DC, this second home was renovated during Tucker's ownership and updated with a brand new kitchen that opens up to a spacious den. Throughout its more than 4,700 square feet, other standout spaces are said to include a large living room, a formal dining room, and a relaxing sunroom, along with a well-manicured front lawn, as well as a flagstone walkway flanked on either side by some large shrubs. After living here for about six years, Tucker and his wife listed the property in 2017 and wound up selling it for just over $2 million. Afterwards, the conservative TV host and his wife bought a new home about a mile away once again, and this one was also situated in the neighborhood of Kent. I guess the Carlsons just can't seem to get enough of this neighborhood, at least until what happened next. In July 2017, Tucker Carlson dropped $3.895 million on a much newer Kent neighborhood house that was originally built in 1998. Considerably larger than either of his previous two homes in the area, this new property plopped in at about 7,400 square feet of space and included five bedrooms, go along with six and a half bathrooms. Built by Jim Gibson Builders, further notable features inside this residence are said to include multiple formal entertaining spaces that boast 10 foot high ceilings. There's also a gorgeous kitchen arranged around a large island that features high-end gourmet appliances. 
This culinary space flows seamlessly into the home's less formal dining area and family room, the latter of which features a raised hearthstone fireplace and glass doors that lead to the backyard. Downstairs, a finished basement includes a family room as well as a staff quarters that can double as a guest room or a gym in a pinch. Upstairs on the top floor, you'll discover four ensuite guest bedrooms plus the primary suite complete with vaulted ceilings, two walk-in closets, and plenty of space in the bathroom. More or less the ideal place to raise a family, right? And it was for a time. Then in late 2018, a group of about 20 anti-fascist protesters gathered in front of Tucker's home in a very aggressive protest that was eventually broken up by police and condemned by Carlson's supporters and detractors alike. A mob gathered outside of Tucker's home just two hours before he was set to go live in his 8 p.m. time slot. When he learned what was happening, Tucker calls his wife who was hiding out in the kitchen after hearing someone screaming from outside the front of their home and pounding on the door is so hard that they actually cracked it. Thinking that she was experiencing a home invasion, Susan called the police and locked herself in the pantry. Thankfully, none of the couple's four children were home at the time. According to now deleted social media posts shared by Smash Racism DC, this local anti-fascist organization showed up outside of Tucker's home with a very clear message for him. We know where you sleep. We know where you sleep at night. A few minutes later, the police arrived and broke the whole thing up, sticking around for hours afterwards to make sure that it was truly finished. And while Tucker and his family might love the neighborhood of Trent, having spent more than a decade there, this became the event that pushed them out for good. Three years later, he let the place go for $3.95 million, or roughly $100,000 more than what he originally paid for it. Then he and his family set their sights far away from Washington, D.C. and made their escape to Florida. In early 2020, just as the pandemic began changing all of our lives, Tucker Carlson's family found a new home for $2.9 million on Gasparilla Island in the state of Florida. There, Tucker purchased a late 1960s era residence that online resources indicate is roughly 3,000 square feet. The single level dwelling was designed by modernist architect Ralph Twitchell and boasts some elegant features including terrazzo flooring as well as plenty of cypress wood paneling. Better yet, the main house spills onto a lushly planted courtyard dining terrace where Tucker can enjoy that year long Florida weather. You know, whenever it's not threatening to totally upend his home with something as pesky as a hurricane. All in all, the property is set to include three bedrooms to go along with three and a half bathrooms, with the poolside guest house adding on an additional one of each. That might make this a much smaller place than what the Carlsons have become accustomed to over the past few years, but on the plus side of things for their family, Florida is one of the most conservative states in the entire country, so the likelihood of a repeat of what happened outside his former house in Washington is slim to none. All right, everyone, that'll bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks so much for watching today's video. And before leaving, consider answering the following question. Have you ever considered moving homes but staying in the exact same neighborhood and why? Let me know if you think there's a point in even doing something like that in the first place in the comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss an episode. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat and be sure to stay tuned to what's coming up next. A look into the multiple homes of Anderson Cooper. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye!